It's a 3,400 acre, 12,050 residential unit master plan community, pioneering on the next generation of smart technology and smart infrastructure in housing. Our partnership with Vanderbilt really sets up us to look into the future and what existing technologies we can work with the university on to make our infrastructure the best it can possibly be for those future homeowners. When I'm asked about this TIPS grant, what makes it unique, I think it's because it sets the platform. This opportunity to create structures for constant social and scholarly interactions among undergraduate students, graduate students, and faculty. So it's not a top-down or bottom-up, it's that we're constantly in spaces where we are um, sharing ideas, bouncing ideas off, re reading each other's work. Everything from environmental and civil engineering, education and public policy, earth sciences. Right now, uh, for the second year, we've got two groups of students as part of their senior project designing low energy homes, working with several home builders, and starting with their base designs, their challenges, how to improve its energy efficiency. They come back with design improvements, they model the homes, they simulate them, look at ways that they can improve it, and they're feeding back to the home designers. And I fully expect that several of their ideas will actually be incorporated in the next generation of homes. We hold a Vanderbilt week at Sterling Ranch each year. We bring out a group of about 30 students, undergraduate, graduate students and faculty uh, from all the different schools, from engineering, from arts and sciences, and from Peabody. They learn everything about the development process, starting with the market development and economic development for the Denver region, going through the finance issues from bond issuance to how do you finance and deal with the financial aspects of developing a city, since this will be a city of about 45,000 residents at build out. And also, how do you deal with the home construction? How do you deal with marketing? How do you deal with the infrastructure educational systems, how do all these pieces come together? So over the course of that week, the students hear from the leading experts, get to visit their facilities, get to tour the Sterling Ranch, and understand how all these pieces come together, which in the end is a multi-billion dollar project. The project's a lot of fun. And from my perspective as a faculty member, it's working with the students, their excitement over the individual projects of going out there and seeing something real, being able to work with companies that are actually engaged in bringing this to reality out there and saying, hey, they're making a difference. It's been a profound learning experience. Um, we are no longer sitting in the classroom um, being assigned certain readings or being lectured to or, you know, being kind of given a body of knowledge. At this point, we are seeking the knowledge that we need in order to more deeply understand. Um, the, the partnership quality of this project has just been phenomenal. So being able to work with uh, acclaimed professors in their fields, being able to connect with undergraduate students, and all being part of the same project has been a real community of learners. I think most universities are pretty siloed, you know, people are pretty much in their little niches. And so this project is, um, I think, pretty unusual and been remarkable. I think this is just an incredible opportunity. And if you ask the students, I think they'll, they'll tell you because they've certainly told me, this has been life changing. This has changed the way in which they think about their classes and coursework moving forward, the way in which they think about their future and the way in which they want to make a difference.